Ladies and gentlemen, of course, if you're not getting to know what is trending, of course, in the entertainment industry in Kenya, follow Trends Girl. Of course, she got you. Here with the most celebrated MC, with the most... Eh? Dr. Openeke, Dr. 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 we are so honored to host you for, for our starters. It's a pleasure too as well and I'm happy when I'm seeing of course the young generation is really coming up very fast mm -hmm. and of course they're taking advantage of course um, of the opportunities that are available especially on social media and digital uh, in whole. So congratulations on that. Uh -huh. mm. And congratulations to also leading us the mm. way you do very good hosting. Uko. Thank you very much. Oh, uh -huh. ah, you guys. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I really uh -huh. appreciate it. We love your shows. They are so sparkly, so amazing. You can't watch your Dr. Ofeneke without having a laugh. Well, um, we're just making sure that we make sure Kenyans are happy. Uh -huh, mm. uh -huh. And the whole world as well. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Maybe for starters, what mm. keeps you going? Let's start with the most deep question. Nini mm. nakufanya, unamkakila siku, unendapale kuinterview watu, unachekesha watu at the same time? Because basically it's passion. I love, I love just putting smiles on people's faces. Uh -huh. I'm passionate about people's happiness. I'm uh -huh. invested in people's happiness. I'm invested in making sure that everybody sees the positive side of life. So that is what really pushes me every single time. Uh -huh. mm. uh -huh. Your latest story, Sumefanya na Kaveve Kazose, that is the most one we enjoyed. Na pale tunaona left, right, kuna issues. Labda li supportiwa hivi, aja supportiwa. You being among the first person mwenye ulinetewa nani Kaveve Kazose, that's mm. Ngesh, mm. Natumbili. Una yapi ya kusema? Um, well, I, I, first of all, congratulations, of course, to... We must we must give it up to um, to Mili, uh -huh. because to Mili did his part. Uh -huh. He was used. Uh -huh. uh, spiritually, we call them destiny, destiny helpers. Uh -huh. To Mili was a destiny helper to uh, Ngesh. Uh -huh. And now that she's there, it's about her now taking advantage. Uh -huh. And using the opportunity that she has mm -hmm. to push herself because to me he also has his own career he's pushing mm -hmm. so he's not going to be always there uh, for her mm -hmm. so yeah ali to me ali to me ali to me kana mungu akapanisha ngesh for the next ladder in life mm -hmm. now it's up to her for her to take advantage because mm -hmm. the world will never wait for you to get ready mm -hmm. all right success is here now you have to that's why every day you have to wake up and Wake up with the mentality yes, that you're ready for success. Sure. So that the day it comes, you're ready for it. Mm -hmm. But don't let don't ever let success find you when you're not ready because you're gonna miss the season. Yes. Soka kidogo Mr. Right. Pale wanafanya Mr. Right na wanafanya Diana Bahati. Pale tumeona social media people are like, ah ah, kuna kitu inaendelea hapa. Pengine tusikie kutoka kwa mdomo wako una una mahusiano gani na Diana Bahati? Ah, kitu gani inaendelea? Hivi unaona watu wakisema eh eh. Gani hiyo? Niambie in front of relationship. We are not moving from the relationship. Yes. Yes. Oh yes, yes. Diana and I in a relationship. Yes, we are in a working relationship. Working. Yes. Hakuna um, I, 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 I don't know where that will be coming from, eh? mm -hmm. but I'm a very big respect of the marriage institution. Yes. Uh, Diana is married mm -hmm. to Bahati, mm -hmm. and I am also married as well, mm -hmm. happily married, or in fact, on that fact, underline and put bold in italics. Mm -hmm. So, um, simply because Diana and I have an amazing working chemistry, mm -hmm. should not mean anything. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, it's the Kenyans on the comment section being like, you guys are touchy touchy. And well, again, like I've said, mm -hmm. uh, we will not apologize for the chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, if we have having good chemistry, then well and fine. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's also important that when we're making these connotations, mm -hmm. both as a comment, as a commenter on any YouTube page, social media, mm -hmm. and also a blog, we also need to be careful that these people are in marriages. Mm -hmm. And you see there's Bahati and then there's my wife in the picture. Mm -hmm. So I think also the ones who comment, they should also just also have in mind mm -hmm. that there are also families who are behind the scenes waiting for us at home. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, I don't think I have at any point Mm -hmm. I have looked at or seen Diana otherwise, mm -hmm. apart from just being mm -hmm. my co-host on Hello Mr. Right. Wow. Yes. And of course, of Feneke, you've been hosting Mr. Right for the longest time. Yes. The difference has, has come when you, uh, like you've been given different co-hosts to work with. For example, Sheiks, Vera, so far so good. Who has been your favorite co-host to do Mr. Right with? And I'd love to know how is it working with Diana as a co-host? Um, I won't say who's my favorite because uh, I, Vera has her unique aspect. 
uh, Sheikh's had a unique aspect, and Diana brings in a whole different aspect as well. So if I'm gonna say, oh my God, who's my favorite, then I'm gonna be unfair to the two that will will come out as not my favorite. I believe each one of them has brought in a new energy, unique energy uh, to the show. And uh, I enjoyed and I loved working with Vera. Uh, I loved working with Sheikh's as well. And uh, so, yes, I am enjoying working with uh, Diana as well. Mm -hmm. And I think also we should also ask in equal measure, how's Diana feel working with me? Sure, true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel working with her? I, I, Dan is amazing. Yeah. I think um, in uh, in any of my students, when it comes to hosting, Dan was the fastest of them all. And uh, I think every every tip and every instruction that I gave her as we were running season three, Dan was always there very keen and very quick to learn. So I think it was very easy for me, even just at times taking a step back in the middle of the shooting and just letting her run the show. I was never worried as the main host of, of Diana letting me down. Mm -hmm. So uh, she is, uh, I can say she's good. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And maybe on, okay, mm -hmm. and probably still on the show, uh, many people would love to know, is the show uh, like real or scripted? Well, as much as guys would wish the show to be scripted, mm -hmm. uh, the show is real, mm -hmm. right? Um, <clears throat> everybody's looking for love, whether known or unknown. Everybody, love love and breakups and marriages and relationships does, does not choose, whether you're a public figure or not. Mm -hmm. So for us, the idea is if you feel like you want to come and look for love on TV, then well and fine. You see, we... we our responsibility is not if the relationships work out or not. Mm -hmm. The fact that you came on Mr. Right and got a boyfriend or girlfriend, that's mm -hmm. all we really do care about. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I, as much as guys would wish the show to be scripted, no, it's not scripted. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. And maybe to move on, uh, uh, have you ever witnessed any marriage from Mr. Right? Or have people gone to be mm -hmm. very serious since you started? You know, you've been in the show for some mm -hmm. time. Is there anything that has come out of the show with some people that have met on stage? Mm, I don't have any clear confirmation, mm -hmm. but from the stories I've heard uh, on the, uh, through the corridors, mm -hmm. is that uh, there are three couples mm -hmm. who actually have ended up together, mm -hmm. and uh, they should actually be a kid involved, either yeah. two or one, I yeah. think. That's from the info. I don't have clear information, mm -hmm. but uh, those are some of the stories um, I have. Maybe you can look for them and maybe bring them up. The show people would love that. With time, it's a conversation we are having, mm -hmm. of course, uh, with uh, um, the production team, mm -hmm. both Star Times and Trudy, mm -hmm. to see how we can now have those success stories and those testimonials mm -hmm. just to celebrate them. But I hear there are those stories. I don't have any clear proof, mm -hmm. but I hear there are couples who are now actually in real, real, they've settled down together. Okay, moving mm -hmm. on to Dr. Ofeneke. Mm -hmm. we, 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 I don't know if we should talk about this. Uh, mm -hmm. It's Anika the Queen. There's a time we did her interview with her and then she was like, mm -hmm. you are still following her and you're not settled in your own marriage. You know, some time back, should be like two months or, or so. And she said when strongly, was this? I didn't see that. the time when she was opening uh, a, a business, a Mabati business. In, uh, I like, didn't even know about that. Uh, you didn't know that? I didn't know about that. He did open you see, up. my business is about my children, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. And um, I I want to believe that you could be wrong mm -hmm. because Nika and I have never said anything negatively towards any of our marriages, mm -hmm. whether in public or in private. Mm -hmm. So I don't have information even about such a clip. It will have reached me. Mm -hmm. I don't have such information. Mm -hmm. And I don't think... It could be true. Mm -hmm. I don't think Nika could be the kind of person because mm -hmm. we we don't talk about each other's personal lives. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm happily married. The fact that you guys don't know my wife, mm -hmm. uh, it does not mean that I'm. Uh, uh, that's a new one. I, I would. I would oh, uh, you two are friends. And we are raising up. Of course, and the kids. We, of course, we have children together. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Moving on to another question. Another question mm -hmm. is inspire someone. You're doing an amazing job. Thank so, you so inspire much. someone, inspire an upcoming creator, inspire a stand up comedian, mm -hmm. inspire someone who wants to start a show. Mm -hmm. Then we can call it that. Oh, well, uh, what I can say is um, the Kenyan audience mm -hmm. is, a, is a very intelligent audience. Kenyans are very smart. So, if you're going to think of what you want to do with content creation or hosting or comedy as well, better know what you want to do before you come in 
don't come out in the limelight or in the public expecting us to define you define yourself before you bring your product you can only define you can only you can only defend what you yourself can define others if you give us the opportunity to, for us to define and deconstruct you then uh, that's when people get up into depression and start giving up and everything because you just came in you had a phone bundles and you thought yeah now i'm here come out when knowing exactly what you want to do exactly and uh, Steve Simbo Boy is one mm. of the content creators that most of people watch and listen to his songs. Mm. And right now he's not going through a good moment. Mm. Maybe you can also inspire and talk to him. No, for him, he has my phone number. If he feels like he has a problem, um, let, 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 it, let him call me. Um, I think I've said, I've said it um, for the past couple of hours on, on major blogs. And I even said it on Dr. Feneke tonight on TV47. That, um, I mean... Again, define yourself because you give us opportunity for us to define you, and then Kenyans are going to mess you up. Kenyans, Kenyans are going through so much. We are looking forward to talk about every single day. So if today you are the topic, we will we will go with you as the topic. But if you're going to, I mean, stand firm, be your own person, then you're going to be fine. And that's what he needs to do.